I'll never understand why some people have to hit rock bottom before they do the right thing. Detectives located an inmate in California. During his interview, he advised detectives that he was approached by Frank Spagnoli to kill Lisa Fine. Maybe Frank wanted me dead because I was an inconvenience to him. But he talked to the wrong man. It turns out some bad guys draw the line when it comes to women and children. The inmate advised that he was not willing to take part in that due to the fact that Lisa Fine had a son and he did not want to take a mother away from her, her son. I guess when Frank couldn't get someone else to do his dirty work, he decided to take matters into his own hands. And when the DNA results came back, investigators finally had the evidence they needed to prove it. The DNA underneath Lisa Fine's fingernails was very huge to this case and was evidence that was directly linked to whoever attacked her. Both Ron Fine and the subject she had the affair with tested negative. However, Frank Spagnolo was positive for a match to that DNA. Frank Spagnola was arrested and charged with first degree murder of Lisa Fine. Frank wanted our son all to himself and he was willing to do whatever it took to make that happen. It is believed that Frank Spagnola did go to the Fine home on the early morning hours of June 30th. Frank entered the house, went upstairs to the bedroom, wearing a helmet to disguise himself with the intention of harming Lisa to get rid of Lisa. He was the one who frightened the kids. Then he scared me right to death. He did attack Lisa and killed her. He then took her to a location where he buried her in a shallow grave. Frank had gotten away with a lot over the years. I guess this time he thought he'd get away with murder. Frank pled not guilty, which resulted in a trial which lasted four weeks. After the trial was conducted and all the information was presented, the jury re returned a verdict of guilty of first degree murder. I guess if Frank couldn't have what he wanted, he was going to make sure nobody else did either. I lost a friend. I lost a coworker. I lost a confidant. His actions changed my family's life forever. Lisa's boy lost his mom, and now he was losing his dad. What I'd really like people to know about Lisa was she loved her little boy more than anything. I always thought living in Michigan with my family was as close to heaven as I could ever get. I never imagined I'd get even closer. In a way, it's almost like going home again.